So autumn weather has kicked in like crazy, it's starting to get cold, leaves are dropping like absolutely crazy, as you can see. Beautiful colours at the moment on the trees, like I love this time of year. One of my favourite times of year. Um, everything starts to look really, really nice. We're ready to go into dormancy soon, but things are starting to shine, especially cool season grass. Um, so today, a few things on, clean some leaves up, mow the lawn, going to get some fur out, just enjoy a day out in the lawn and on the property. So let's get into it. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. So as I was saying, I'm gonna get rid of all the leaves out of this area here, first thing. Um, so I'm gonna get all the leaves off the deck with the blower, and then I'll grab the old John Deere, the X380, with the catcher on the back, and pick up the leaves with this bad boy just here, in this area here, because it actually does a really good job, as you guys would have seen the week before. And let's see how many leaves we can get in the back of the gator. Let's do it, let's get it done. So that section is now done. Um, I always like to clean up the stuff I blow off the deck and out of the playground area with the zero turn just because it chops it up really nice and fine. Like that, as you can see. What do you reckon, bruh? Good job. Shnote. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it does a really good job. I could probably go over this little section one more time, but you can see here, really, really nice and fine, which is ideal, man. Ideal as. Does a good job. So this area here looks so, so much tidier. I'll probably do this once a week. I'm obviously not trying to get every single leaf out of this area here. It would be here for yonks. Um, but it does look a lot tidier than it did before. Um, definitely, and the deck is a lot cleaner as well. You can see if some leaves have already dropped again after we've already done it. This is the thing, man. They just keep on falling. It's just crazy. So let's get on this. Let's clean this up. Chuck what we pick up in the back of the gator. And then we'll get on to mowing. That thing really does do a good job picking up those leaves. Very impressed with it. 
Man, the clock here was looking good. It's looking, mate, hasn't looked this good, I don't think, since I've started working on it, to be honest. And it's starting to cool off too. I'll show you guys in a minute. Like, there's actually a little bit of kai key starting to go into dormancy. Um, just over near the paddock over there. But this is looking, mm, the color is just popping. We're gonna make it pop a little bit more with a bit more liquid iron, that enhance. And um, probably my winter lawn tips mix. Um, just to get the roots really getting nice and strong for winter time. Um, but mate, the colour of this is just, it's just unreal at the moment. Super duper happy with it. It's probably the happiest I've been with this lawn to be honest since, since I started working on it and it's the liquids me. And as soon as I started bringing those liquids in like that, it's just made a difference. Really, really has. Right, time for a double cut with the old Rover. I might get the Toro out soon and give it a crack, um, but Let's use this bad boy today. And get it done. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, this looks, bringing back memories with the old rye lawn, that's what Emma just said, she's popping us up and chat to her. And she said it, it brings back memories of the old grass that we had. Just the colour man is just there again. We're getting stripes, it's popping at the moment, like it's looking really, really good. I mean, this side is a little bit unlevel and there's a bit of humps and bumps everywhere, so that needs to be fixed up next season. But, mate, this thing is looking absolutely pure. Look at that. Mate. Mm. That excites me, seriously excites me so much. And we're about to give it another colour boost to keep it going through the frost and everything for the next little bit. So let's go get the liquid stuff and get it done. Dogs that are going to say something in the comments about identity the edges. Hope you commented that before I started doing them because I'm going to do them now. I forgot before. <laughs> Let's get it done, boys! So last thing for today, woo is putting out our liquid furt mix with that enhance added to it as well to just kick in that bit of iron. Love putting iron on, especially this time of year, just to help with any, it does help, help a little bit. Why oh, I just got an email and that burned my ears. What was I saying? I don't know, oh, liquid iron. I love to apply it this time of year because it does help a little bit with your old frost damage. Um, and just keeps it ticking along for a little bit longer and who doesn't love an ice cream up anyway? I remember I used to apply on the old ryegrass um, iron every two to three weeks. So let's stick to that for the next little while. Give this some, some nice popping colour before it goes into dormancy. Which I'm hoping it doesn't. So today we're putting out Vitalize, Brilliance and Roots which is my Lawn Tips Winter Mix. Now the Roots is the added addition and we've taken out the Nourish and replaced it with the Roots because we want to promote a stronger, healthier root system through this time of year as we're leading into winter. Um, you could technically apply this mix all year round and take out the other product anyway if you really wanted to, but bruh, 
that's what we're going to do because we like to get a little bit of extra color throughout the season with the spring autumn mix and then focus more on the health this time of year just keep kicking into the cooler months but I still like to get a bit of colour in, so I like to add the enhance as well with that 10% iron, which is quite high, which is awesome. So just, just be aware, I had a couple, someone email me last week saying they applied double the recommended amount of the enhance and it did slightly burn their lawn. So just be careful with over applying. Um, yeah, let's put it out, let's get it down. And this thing's gonna be kicking next time you guys see it in the video. It's gonna be looking pure. I really enjoyed that, getting some leaves cleaned up, um, giving the lawn a double cut and getting some liquid fur out. Just enjoy days where you get a couple of things done, but it's a cracker of a day like it is today. Like, mm, absolutely love it. Thanks guys so much for watching, really appreciate it. Remember those products listed there, you can get them on the website. I do appreciate your guys' support when you do purchase stuff from me. Helps me keep doing this. Um, a few new lawn plans up on the website as well if you haven't seen them. Still ticking away at them, but most of them are nearly done and then I'll start creating some new ones as well that I didn't have on the old website um, with the newer products. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. Appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Now, if you guys stuck around to the end, thanks. <laughs> but I did talk about showing you um, how I can tell that it's going, things are starting to go into dormancy and it's slowing down out here and we've probably had a really, really light frost as well. As you can see this sort of zebra pattern on the kaiku just here. Really weird looking, almost looks like herbicide burn or something like that. Some people might think it's disease, who knows, but it is actually just frost damage um, and the lawn is starting to go into dormancy. So we get quite cold here. We get really, really cold temps in winter time and the grass does go into recovery mode over winter time, goes brown, basically goes to sleep. So starting to go dormant already. So it's nice to see that the kaiku is still holding that much color when other parts on the property are starting to turn. So winter's coming to me in, scary. Anyway, bye.